What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis and in this video I'm going to put the Idle Sleep Gel Foam Mattress through the full Sleepopolis review. I'll put the mattress through a few tests, tell you what it feels like, what type of sleepers would be most comfortable sleeping on the Idle Gel Foam, what the mattress is made of, and then at the end I'll give you my pros and cons. Now if at any point you have a question that I don't cover, then feel free to leave a comment below so we can get back to you with a recommendation. Now I also wanna point out that if you're interested in purchasing an Idle Sleep mattress, all you have to do to use the Sleepopolis Idle Sleep discount is click the link below. But if you're interested in learning more, you can Google Sleepopolis Idle Sleep Coupon. Now that that's all out of the way, let's jump into the Sleepopolis Idle Gel Foam Mattress Review. When talking about the feel of the Idle Gel Foam Mattress, the first thing I want to bring up is the firmness or support level of the bed. I give it a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, with 10 being the firmest. Uh, that's going to put it right in the medium range, maybe a hedge to the softer side of a medium firm feel. Uh, you can probably tell that I am sinking into the mattress a little bit while I'm sitting here. There's definitely a bit of a foam contouring feeling around the body. Even when I was on my back, uh, I did feel myself sinking into the mattress just a little bit. I do think that the Idle Gel Foam Mattress is a good choice for back sleepers. It's got that really nice balance of support and pressure relief that I think back sleepers will really appreciate. Uh, when you start to roll around and change positions, there is a little bit of a slow response to pressure from this foam. Uh, it's not quite a memory foam, maybe a little bit quicker than that, uh, but there is a chance you will feel a little bit stuck in the mattress as you're trying to change positions because there's not much bounce from this all foam mattress. Uh, but once you do get to your side, I think this is a mattress that's really great for side sleepers. I think the Idle Gel Foam does a really nice job of allowing you to sink in, give you pressure relief, the shoulders, the hips, uh, a couple problem areas for a lot of side sleepers. So back sleepers, I think you're gonna be happy. Side sleepers, I think you're gonna be happy. Uh, rolling onto your stomach. Uh, this is where I felt a little uncomfortable. I felt my hips and my torso kind of sink into the mattress a little bit. Generally, stomach sleepers want really firm mattresses, really firm support to keep their uh, spine in line, uh, that their shoulders in line with their hips, that kind of a thing. Uh, so if you are someone who's a bit more of a strict uh, stomach sleeper, you're gonna wanna find something a little bit firmer than this. Now instead of just taking my word on the feel of the Idle Gel Foam Mattress, I wanted to run a few tests so you get a more objective look at what's going on. The first test is a pressure map test, and just like it sounds, I put a pressure map down on top of the mattress, lie down in a few positions, and you'll see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure on my back. My weight's evenly distributed, it's blue across the board, that's what I was expecting, I like that. Uh, like I said, I like this mattress for the back sleepers out there. Uh, rolling onto my side, you can see that the shoulder area raises a little bit into the green range. I think that's an acceptable level here on the Idle Gel Foam. I think it's a really nice feel for the side sleepers again. Uh, so back sleeper, side sleeper, I think you're gonna be pretty happy here with this mattress. Uh, stomach sleepers, you can see that it is mostly blue across the board. I don't really think this tells the whole story here. I did feel my hips, my torso start to sink in, which is gonna be a big problem. It's gonna put your uh, neck and your back in a bad position. If you are a stomach sleeper, look for something with a little bit firmer support than what this uh, gel foam mattress can provide. The next test up is the bounce test, and we're basically checking to see how much mobility the Idle Gel Foam mattress provides. Are you gonna be able to easily change positions without any stuck feeling in the mattress. Uh, and I did have a little bit of a stuck feeling here. Uh, there's not a ton of bounce. It is an all foam mattress. It does have a slower responding comfort layer uh, than something like maybe a latex foam would provide. Uh, if you are worried about sinking too far into bed, you are going to feel a little bit sunken in here. So if you like to feel more on top of the mattress than sunken into it, probably gonna wanna check out maybe the Idle Hybrid, something like that, uh, which I'll cover in just a little bit. Uh, however, I do think if you're someone who likes that feeling of sinking into bed at the end of the day, uh, you will have a really uh, nice time on this mattress. Next up, we have the motion transfer or disturbance test. What we're doing here is to check to see if you share your mattress with a partner. Are you going to feel it on your side of the bed when they start to get into and out of bed during the middle of the night? roll around, change positions or anything like that, how much disturbance is gonna be transferred across the mattress with that motion? Now to test that, I drop a 10 pound seal ball from heights of four, eight, and 12 inches. Uh, and where you might be sleeping, I put a seismometer down to check to see how much disturbance is transferred with each of those drops. Uh, now with the Idle Gel Foam mattress, uh, there was a little bit of a high spike of motion right when that ball was dropped, but because of these soft foams that a little bit slow response to pressure that these foams have, it was able to tamp down on it really quickly. Overall, I'd say it performed pretty well on this test. 
And last but not least is the edge support portion of the review. Basically, are you going to be able to sleep all the way to the end of the bed without worrying about collapsing the side or anything like that. Uh, now it does have softer comfort foams here on the Idle Gel Foam mattress. Uh, you will tend to push through those. I thought that the edge support was pretty good uh, for kind of sleeping near the side of the bed. I didn't really feel like I was collapsing it or anything like that. Uh, if you do sit up on the side of the bed in the morning, to, you know, put your shoes on or something like that, you will kind of push through those foams. But overall, I'd say that uh, I performed pretty well. Now to give you a better idea of where the feel of the Idle Gel Foam mattress comes from, I've peeled back the cover so you can see the materials inside of it. Uh, the cover itself has a thin, breathable feel to it that's gonna help it sleep a bit cooler, which is important uh, because below that we have this layer of foam. Foam can tend to trap a bit of body heat. They do call it cooling buoyancy foam, uh, things like that. It does feel like a memory foam. You can see that slower response to pressure. You're gonna sink into that soft feel uh, really easily, get some really nice pressure relief contouring feel around the body. Uh, there isn't a ton of bounce to this material, so you may feel a little bit stuck in the layer as you do sink into bed uh, over time. But again, really great for pressure relief, really comfortable feel. Now below that, we get into a transition layer, which is a polyurethane foam. You can see that quicker response to pressure. So basically you're transitioning from uh, the really soft comfort foam on top. You're still gonna be able to sink into this layer a little bit, uh, but it is a little bit firmer, a little bit quicker response, which is a nice transition into the uh, high density polyurethane foam base here. Really firm material, you can see that as I kind of try to punch into it. Uh, really good for support. It's really common in a lot of bend-to-box mattresses used as a support layer or base. Today I've been talking about Idle Sleep's gel foam mattress, but they do have a few other models in their mattress line. So I wanna give you a little bit of a hint of what these other mattresses are about to see if they might fit your sleep style and preferences just a little bit better. The other all foam mattress in the, is the Idle Gel Plush. This mattress takes the feel of the Idle Gel foam and softens it up quite a bit. The Idle Gel Plush has thick layers of soft foam, so you'll sink deep into bed for really great pressure relief. I think strict side sleepers will really love that feel. Now, there's also the Idle Hybrid mattress, which uses a combination of foam comfort layers and pocketed coil support for a bit more of a supportive and bouncy feel than the all foam mattresses can provide. Overall, I'd say it has a medium firm feel, and I really like the Idle Hybrid for back and side combination sleepers. Finally, there's the Idle Latex Hybrid, which has a similar build to the Idle Hybrid, but uses latex foams instead of the poly foam found in the comfort layer of the Idle Hybrid. I found that this also had a somewhat medium firm support level. Latex comfort foam means you won't get as much of a contouring feel on this version of the mattress. You'll feel a bit more on top of the bed than in it. Uh, I should also note that both the Idle Hybrid and Latex Hybrid have a flippable design, so you'll be able to flip your mattress every few months to help defend against any sagging over time. Uh, this is something that not many mattresses today have and a huge uh, plus in terms of extending the durability of the mattress. Now, those are the quick hits on Idle's other mattresses, but if you want to learn more, you can click the links below to watch the YouTube reviews or Google Sleepopolis Idle Sleep Review to go in-depth with our written reviews. Now I wanted to cover a few frequently asked questions here during this portion of the review. So the first one up is where are Idle Sleep mattresses made? And the answer is they're actually made right here in the United States of America. Next up, do you need a box spring with the Idle Sleep gel foam mattress? And the answer is no, you don't. It's designed to work on a slatted bed frame. That's actually what I'm testing it on today. Now, if you have a box spring or prefer to use a box spring, feel free to do so, but you do not need one. Last but not least, can you flip the Idle gel foam mattress? And the answer is no, don't flip the mattress. Uh, Idle hybrid mattresses are actually built to be able to kind of flip them back and forth if you want to extend the life of the mattress. Uh, with the Idle foam mattresses though, the comfort layers are on top of the support layers at the bottom. So if you're worried about kind of sagging in the mattress on the idle foam mattresses, uh, you can rotate them 180 degrees every six months. And before I end the review, I do wanna cover uh, my pros and cons for the Idle Gel Foam mattress. Now, first up reasons I think it's a good choice for you is if you are a back sleeper, uh, it's got a medium firmness. I think it's a nice blend of support and comfort if you are sleeping on your back most of the night. I also think it's a good choice if you're a side sleeper. I really like these softer comfort foams to sink in, give you some really nice pressure relief for the shoulders. We saw a really good result on the pressure map test, which is a really good sign for the side sleepers out there. And last but not least, I think it's a good choice if you're looking to sleep cool, uh, some foam mattress mattresses uh, with a memory foam feel such as this one tend to trap a lot of body heat, but I was really impressed uh, with the Idle Gel Foam mattress and its ability to kind of dissipate that heat. I thought it did a really good job of sleeping cool.
Now, some of my complaints with this mattress are that I don't think it's a good choice for stomach sleepers. Uh, I didn't feel that it had the firm enough support that I like for stomach sleepers. I felt my hips, my torso start to sink in, put my neck and my back in a little bit of a bad position. Uh, and also I would say, uh, if you're someone who likes to feel more on top of the mattress, there's not a lot of bounce to this bed. So if you are looking to kind of change positions, you may get a little bit of a stuck feeling. Now, if you are interested in purchasing an idle mattress, I wanna give you a few of their company policies here. First up, there is an 18 month trial period on this bed, which is a really Really long time so you can have it in your home for about a year and a half deciding whether you want to keep it or send it back uh, there is a lifetime warranty with this mattress so that's really nice as well and finally there is a uh, free shipping and returns for the idle gel foam mattress so that's it for my review of the Idle Gel Foam Mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if you're interested in learning more or going on a deeper dive into this bed, you can Google Sleepopolis Idle Sleep Review to find my full review. You'll also find the Idle Sleep coupon there to save on your purchase. Uh, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our new reviews or giveaway announcements and head to Sleepopolis for all of your sleep needs.